<laughs> hey, asshole. I want you to tell me what that man's name is. I... I don't know. You don't know? Now that's a pity. Right. Welcome to the Project Bike Vlogs. For those of you that watched the last episode, episode 30, you realise that that was recorded about 10 seconds ago. <laughs> but anyway, I need some stuff for the new one, so here we go. Right, Honda CG125 BRJ91, 15,000 miles, just about completely standard. No tax, no MOT. And first phase is to strip it all, clean everything, polish it up, make it clean and safe. Uh, replace consumable parts like the air filter, the spark plug. Uh, both tires need replacing. Make sure all the electrics work. Get the engine running. That's fine. It's kick start only. No electric start. Uh, I believe the clocks all work as well. So let's do a walk around. Where should we start? Let's start at the front. Okay, so the mudguard. This one's cracked. It needs to be replaced or fiberglass repaired. Either way, it's getting chopped. The wheel's fine, um, just needs polished up, and I'm going to put some reflector, spoke reflectors on there, I think they're cool as fuck, I'll have a new tyre on it. We're losing the nuclear reflectors, I hate them, we'll keep the um, the brace there. Uh, forks are fine, they'll just get polished up. Headlight's getting replaced, I'm not going to show you the new parts, but it is getting replaced, got to keep it a surprise. It's not that shape. Clocks will be staying, but I'm going to put LED backlighting in them. Indicators will be getting changed for clear ones. Handlebars, they're going. And something a bit flatter. Maybe not flat, but maybe drop two inches. Slightly rotated back. Um, they'll be going in. U grips. The levers. Probably going to replace them, but it's not urgent. The mirrors. I'm going to check these threads, but if these threads are okay, I'm going to put bar end mirrors on. <laughs> because in here I want to put uh, the little LED running lights just f pointing forward so I'll source them, I will, I will maybe show a picture of them because they're quite cool going backwards, any bearings that need doing um, they'll be replaced um, I don't know what type of bearings are be in here but I'll put roller bearings in if it needs it all the bushes and rubber mounts will be checked out strip everything, absolutely everything out back to the frame Clean the frame up. If it needs painting, I'll paint it, but so far I don't think so. I think it's just dirty, but we'll, we'll see. Exhaust system. Clean it up, and then cut it in half, <laughs> basically. Who, who the fuck wants that on there? Swing arm off and cleaned up. I don't really want rear pegs on it, but mm, I'm going to keep the double seat, so we'll see about uh, maybe figuring out a way to source a single seat. Not too sure. Um, engine, the head, the casings, everything is coming off, stripped clean, serviced, painted, brilliant. Carb, it's got to come off and get cleaned it anyway, um, so that will get a good service. I'm th thinking the carb might give me some trouble because they're a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm going to go the route, I've weighed up the, the issues between finding side panels and getting the engine running happy with a pod filter and decided that the airbox is coming out and the pod filter is going on after the MOT and that can leave that then exposed don't have to worry about side panel I do have one but it looks hideous so on this side you can see new chain and sprocket kit will be going on uh, side stand and centre stand will be coming off and getting painted new tax disc holder going on there uh, what else are we going to do to it the side panel on this side is the one that's missing. Now, a lot of this is the airbox. I don't know how much you can see there. I'm going to take this battery mount off, this little cradle, and I'm going to make a tin weather box and put all this into it. That there, by the way, just for those of you that don't know these bikes, is the one and only fuse on this whole bike. Anyway, a tin box, and in there we're going to put the battery and these mains leads, which will be cool. The bike comes with the full chain guard, top and bottom half. That'll be getting put back on and painted up for the MOT. Um, but it may come off again afterwards. New chain and sprockets are going on. Uh, these are okay for now, but they could do with being replaced. And just everything getting cleaned up. Moving back from that. 
the seat comes to here. I want to chop this down. This rack has to go. These indicators will be going again, replaced with clear ones. The rear shocks are good, they just need a good cleaning up. But this back end, how square and hideous is that? I don't see how I can make that look good. So I want to chop it off. Just fucking chop it off. Just about there. Just there. And then mount behind the seat. We'll mount um, a bracket with the, a replacement LED unit which will sit back here just at the back of the seat and then a number plate to lay get another one can't go into what's left of the cut off uh, mud guard new rear tyre of course so there we go kick starts fine brake pedals fine gear selectors fine all those little bits are good um, and that's the plan as it stands obviously the mud guard in the tank and anything that's left of the tailpiece will be getting repainted the engine is all going black the battery box will be black, the wheels will be going chrome with the reflectors on them, the brake drums, they'll all be getting taken apart and uh, checked over, serviced, cables the same. Polish up the drape, bake, ding, polish up the brake drums on the outside and uh, make it look nice. Uh, let's show you the seat. Here it is. With the obligatory, I'm walking around with a cloth for, with the obligatory splits and tape on it. But structurally, it's absolutely fine. It just needs recovering. It's actually very comfortable. It's quite surprised. But thirty pounds to recover it, so we'll get that done too. Um, and that's it, really. So this is Project Bike. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully, you come back for episode two when I'll have done some more work. I shall throw in some pictures for you now, and you can see what we did on afternoon one. I'm looking forward to the comments, I think.